Jay Coffin here with Morgan Pressel on number 17, par 4, 440 yards. Um, I guess, first of all, just tell us who you're playing with and your playing partners here in this practice round. Oh, I'm playing with that good friend, Christy Kerr. I'm mm -hmm. playing with Heather Young and Sylvia Cavallari, and we're having a great time out here for this back nine. And um, it's hot. It is hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot out here. So. Um, tell us a little bit about the hole. I mean, uh, you know, what are players saying about it? Obviously, one of the most difficult on the entire golf course. It is. It's one of the toughest. Uh, for me, it's definitely one of the longest. I've been having to hit five or three wood in here every day. There's only maybe one or two other holes that are, that are really playing this long. And... Um, and so there's not too much strategy involved, just kind of just bomb it. But um, but because of the dog leg, it makes it a little tough. You hit three wood in here just about every day. Yeah, sometimes yeah. We, I've had I had driver off the deck a couple of times too. Jeez. Yeah. Ouch. They went a little long, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell us to turn around and tell us a little bit about the hole. Then I mean, where where are you? Are you just hitting hard and hoping <laughs> well, as far it, as you can? Or I mean, is there is there where are you trying to trying to put position? I'm, sure, I'm trying to position myself just inside the cut on the left. Of the, okay, to, to cut right off of as center. much of it as you can. Yeah, you know, just to try and play it because even if you get a little bit too far right, you can get through the fairway, so it kind of gets right. pretty narrow around in there. Okay. So not necessarily have to really shape a shot because I can't carry that bunker, so it's kind of silly to try and shape it. Gotcha. But just. Just hug the hug the corner as much as I possibly can. You think you're still gonna have a three wood in there? Um, well I have been, so <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. But um, maybe a five wood today. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> a day off to hitting a five wood into in on a par four. Yeah, exactly. It makes the whole play a little yeah. easier, I guess. So tell me a little bit about more about this hole in the in the last two. If you're if you're standing on the 17th tee on Sunday, and you need to make two pars to to win the Open. It's not exactly a piece of cake, is it? No, this is two, <laughs> two good, two great finishing holes. And if I'm not mistaken, this hole actually originally was the 18th hole, and okay. the next hole was the first okay. hole. Okay, but gotcha. they switched it so that one is now part gotcha. five by the clubhouse. Yeah. When they moved the clubhouse and built a new one, so a couple of couple of tough holes, par two pars is an easy test. Yeah. First of all, tell us a little bit about your your limp limping there a little bit. Oh, you doing all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I got the by a spider yesterday and I woke right. up this morning and I kind of felt it yesterday. Like I yeah. saw it as it was biting me and I kind of shoot it off and and I woke up this morning and my ankle's like five si five times bigger than normal. Nice. That's real so, nice. That's what you want the day the before they the open. Walk. Just walk up and down hills and yeah. If they're put any a little bit too much pressure on the wrong side of my foot, I can feel it. Obviously, you know, you're associated with this place because you were such a little young little whippersnapper here. Yeah. You qualify as a 12-year-old or 13 when you play here. Bring back some memories. I know it's a little bit of a different golf course, but still probably get some great memories. Right? I just remember the experience and yeah. being here and having so much fun and having everybody come out to watch me. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool when I was, I was like, I was little. <laughs> hey, you're about this tall? I was little. <laughs> I, I think we I think we played golf. I'm getting old now. I think we played golf a year or so after yeah, that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And somehow your game's gotten a little better and I mine's gotten so. a little bit worse. Oh, still. no, it hasn't. Yeah. What, um, what sort of yardage do you think we that have? That looks here? like a three wood. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like maybe even driver, but not probably a three wood. Well, and then obviously, you know, hitting into this green, then what are you trying? I mean, are you just... Well, what's tough is because... You can't go for a pin with a three wood. Well, that pin's not too bad because it's on the left. But, okay. Um, but... Especially if I if I ever need to hit driver, that bunker can come into play there on the right. Hopefully, I won't have to. Usually oh, gotcha. in tournaments, I hit a little bit further. Yeah. Hit a little more pumped up, so I should be okay. Would it kill Mother Nature to give you a little bit of breeze behind you? Uh, give you a little bit of help on this hole. There's no breeze out here at all. It's so hot. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. Hit it pretty good too. Didn't eat your Wheaties. No. You did. You did eat that pretty that pretty good. Yeah, I did. Now, would you take that position four days in a row? I'll take par all four days here. Let's put it that way. So talk to us about this green a little bit. It's obviously, you know, Donald Ross is known for the smaller ones. This is a little bit bigger, which I guess is good coming in here with a three wood. You know, it looks like a big green, but there's a lot of areas where it runs off and yeah, where you okay. really you really can't get caught, especially over the back on the right. There's a little area there just over the spunk on the left, and mm -hmm. there's the spunker that guards the front of the green. Gotcha. As well as this one that you absolutely don't want to be in, yes. which, is, which is pretty bad. But um, it, the green doesn't have too much going on with it. Okay. Just the kind of the slopes on the outside and just subtle little breaks. That's not too bad. So. If you're anywhere up in here, then for any of the four days, you'd be all right. Like where you are right now, you feel it's comfortable. Where I am right in, now, it's, in, it's just pretty good. Ninety percent of the time. Yeah, right? I'd say. I'd hope. Yeah. <laughs> this course will probably get a little bit firmer or faster if we yeah. don't get any more rain and. Um, so that's how I would have bounced right up there. All right, Morgan. Well, I appreciate you taking us through the 17th. Hope that ankle gets better. Thank you. You play well Thank this week. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you.